Hello and welcome to our channel. Is it credible that the sun is approaching the earth? In this video, we will cover all the aspects in this regard. So, without further ado, let's get started. Introduction Are we getting closer to the sun? You might wonder. There are various ways to answer this question, but we are not approaching the sun as you might imagine. The sun moves so consistently across the sky that you wouldn't see its relationship with the earth changing all the time. In reality, the average distance between the earth and the sun varies from year to year. Thus, do we know whether the earth is moving nearer to or away from the sun? And what forces are at work on our planet and in the stars to cause this? In a nutshell, the sun is gradually shifting away from earth. According to NASA, Earth is around 93 million miles from the Sun on average. Its orbit, however, is not quite round. It is more elliptical or oval-shaped. According to NASA, the Earth's distance from the Sun can range between 91.4 million and 94.5 million miles. Despite this, the average distance between the Sun and the Earth is continuously increasing over time. This greater distance is due to two major factors. For example, the sun sheds mass. The other makes use of the same forces that causes the Earth's tides. The sun is getting smaller. The sun's nuclear fusion reactions use Einstein's famous equation E equals mc squared to convert mass into energy. Because the sun is always generating energy, it is also becoming thinner. According to NASA, the Sun's remaining lifetime is estimated to be another 5 billion years or so, and models of how stars transform over time predict that the Sun will lose about 0.1% of its total volume before dropping dead, according to Brian DiGiorgio, an astrophysicist at the University of California. Although 0.1% may not appear to be much, DiGiorgio claims that this is a lot of volume. It's about the same size as Jupiter. The Exploratorium in California says that Jupiter is about 318 times as heavy as Earth. The gravitational effect of an entity is proportional to its weight, according to DiGiorgio. Our planet is drifting away from our star at a pace of roughly 2.36 inches or 6 centimeters every year because the Sun is losing mass but we shouldn't get too excited about the sun's departure just yet. This isn't that big of a deal, DiGiorgio said, comparing it to the regular 3% change in Earth's orbital distance caused by its elliptical shape. The Impact of Tides The gravity of the Earth pulls on the sun in the same manner that the moon's gravitational pull generates tides. Britt Sharinghausen, an assistant professor of physics and astronomy at Belua College, said that this makes the part of the sun that faces Earth bigger. This is called a tidal bulge. According to NASA, the sun rotates on its axis once every 27 days. Because this is faster than the 365 days or so it takes Earth to complete an orbit around the sun, Earth's gravitational bulge on the sun is ahead of Earth. The bulk of the bulge attracts the Earth, forcing it forward in its orbit and further away from the Sun. Our planet's moon is gradually drifting away from us due to a similar phenomenon. According to DiGiorgio, these tide pressures have little effect on Earth's orbit, which advances roughly 0.0001 inch closer to the Sun each year. Is there a significant shift in the weather? As the Earth moves away from the Sun, the Sun's radiance dims, explained DiGiorgio. Given that the Earth's distance from the Sun is predicted to grow by 0.2% over the next 5 billion years, this darkening equates to a 0.4% reduction in solar radiation impacting the planet's surface, he explained. This is tiny in comparison to the typical fluctuations in the Sun's brightness caused by the Earth's elliptical orbit. Therefore, there is no cause for concern. The biggest concern is that as the Sun grows over the next 5 billion years, stellar development models predict that its brightness will increase by about 6% per billion years, progressively raising Earth's temperatures. DiGiorgio elaborated, this will render the Earth unsuitable for humans long before the Sun can devour it. In conclusion, 
because the Earth does not revolve in a perfect circle around the Sun, its proximity to the Sun is thought to have a substantial impact on the Earth's ecology. While this is valid, the Earth has been following the same orbital path around the Sun for years and the distances between the Earth and the Sun have been unchanged. Nonetheless, because of the tidal effect and the Sun's power, we are actually moving away from it, not towards it. I hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.